what is up you guys and welcome to this new moon in scorpio video this is for all signs no matter what sign you are this video is going to be a little bit different though i'm not going to go over each sign in this video just because i am still working on the november horoscopes and i do talk a little bit about the scorpio new moon in each one of those so i just feel like it would be kind of repetitive to talk about all of them again in this video so i'm still working on those so if you don't see your signs video up yet it will be up in the next few days i'm almost done bear with me and thank you for bearing with me so basically in this video i'm just going to talk about the astrology of this scorpio new moon and what we're going to be seeing rippling for the next couple weeks because this scorpio new moon is bringing a big bang with it okay it is opposite uranus the planet of shakeups and unexpectedness liberation freedom independence and so i believe this new moon is kind of like an unexpected new beginning or an unexpected void that's happening a scorpio new moon is really about kind of creating a void so we can create from that. Creation can't happen without the void. You know what I mean? Like the baby in the womb kind of metaphor. And so the Scorpio new moon is really asking us to dig deep and to really look at our emotional attachments and our blockages that are possibly holding us back. Any deep rooted emotional issues that are not getting us anywhere and so the scorpio new moon can definitely be a time for us to break free of some of these energies some of these blockages some of these things that we've been attached to for so long and so it is really a time of liberating ourselves from that energy so this scorpio new moon is about getting to the root of something or exposing the root of something exposing what's going on beneath the surface that is holding us back in our lives in some way or that is causing some kind of block in our lives in some way. We can get kind of like a, an intense new clarity or an intense revelation or an intense realization around this time. Some kind of unexpected new development could occur and not just really tomorrow on the Scorpio new moon, it's tomorrow when I'm filming this, but really the next couple of weeks we could see a lot of breaking free from deep rooted stuff that's been holding us back for quite a long time. This can also be a time where we see what is holding us back from being in our truth and being in our true authentic power. This is like a time of unraveling, coming apart, coming undone. But through that process, we end up finding liberation. We end up finding authenticity. These next couple of weeks are about moving through intense, restrictive, and limiting barriers facing challenges, facing fears. So the Scorpio new moon is really just throwing a rock in the water and watching it ripple. Right now the rock is hitting the water, but through these next couple weeks, it is going to ripple. And so whatever you've been seeing come up in your life around this time likely is a clue for you with the Scorpio new moon on things that need to be faced, things that you need to liberate yourself from, certain fears that you may need to liberate yourself from by facing them. And that is going to bring a challenge, which is where a lot of these Saturn squares start coming in over the next couple of weeks. We have Mars and Mercury that are going to start squaring Saturn. And so this is going to be a time of walking the talk. Whatever comes up in your life, whatever realization or moment of clarity that you have around these deep rooted issues, around these barriers or fears or challenges that need to be faced, around these emotional attachments, these toxins in your life or these blocks in your life, whatever comes up around those, around this Scorpio new moon, is what you are going to be really facing these next couple of weeks. And so this is the beginning of a journey this month where you are going to be kind of running the gauntlet so to say you know you're really going to be coming up against blocks and walls and rough patches but through that you are going to find liberation through facing these things and moving through these things instead of just avoiding these things you will find liberation so for some of you this could be 
a time of endings. For others of you, this could be a time where intense fears are coming up or loss in some way is coming up or certain toxic behaviors or patterns are coming up. For others of you, it could be a time of emotional attachments or secrets that are coming up that need to be dealt with. But either way, it is something that you need to move through. It is something that finally needs to be purged from your life in order for you to move forward. This new moon is also about facing deep feelings that you've been hanging on to or deep resentments, deep anger, deep emotional attachments, like I said, and the emotional attachments themselves can be attachment to certain ways of feeling that you don't want to let go of. But these things are no longer needed for your upcoming path. And so these are the things that need to be faced. These are the things that you need to move through in order for you to move on. And once you do, you get that sense of freedom and liberation. You get that sense of authenticity. You get that sense of surrender and like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. So these next few weeks are going to take a lot of deep, deep honesty on your part. It's a really confronting energy. It's an energy about confronting things rather than running from them. It is an energy of facing things rather than avoiding them. It is an energy of being very, very brutally honest with yourself and possibly others. What needs to come out? What needs to be purged? What needs to be detoxed? What needs to be cleansed? This is a time of endurance and perseverance. This is not a time to try to take a shortcut or a quick fix or anything like that. It is a time of really, really doing the thing that you know you need to do that may be difficult. Where are you fighting within yourself to resist something or avoid something that needs to be faced? Where are you possibly letting other people call the shots or worry too much about fitting in or what other people think or whatever the case may be with Saturn and Aquarius? Mars and Mercury and the Sun in Scorpio is like, okay, you need to go deep within yourself and settle something. If you are feeling unsettled these next few weeks, that is a sign that you need to get to the root of why. These next few weeks are in by no way, shape, or form superficial at all. These next few weeks are going to be deep and profound and will require a lot of shadow work on everyone's part in some way or another, a lot of shedding, purging, endings, you know, catharsis in some way or another. And it is about moving through that energy and even finding the beauty in it. Sometimes pain is a necessity and is just a part of life. And that is something that we learn to embrace and accept in Scorpio season or in the sign of Scorpio. I think a lot of our issues today in the world is that we have become so used to escaping pain or think that all pain needs to be escaped or diminished and that is just not necessarily the case pain is there for a reason it is how we evolve it is how we grow it is through those intense emotional profound experiences that we find our truth you know our deepest truths and who we really are and so i promise that there are really liberating times coming and really exciting times coming but first there is going to be a certain level of difficulty in many of our lives as we are moving through those challenges and those hurdles those boundaries that we've set for ourselves that we didn't think that we could cross but we actually can if we are able to release those emotional attachments to those boundaries in the first place. So that is what I have to say for this Scorpio new moon. Hopefully this resonated or had some messages that you needed to hear. Definitely let me know how you're feeling this new moon energy down below what's going on in your life and how you see it coming up in your life. I would love to hear about it. I would love to know and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.